Thank you so much. I'm going to put this. Hey, y'all. Thanks for being here. Um, so the first time I heard about this um, series was actually um, in October when I came to see Ali read. Um, and it was super grounding in so many different ways. And I'm super appreciative um, to be up here and hopefully give you somewhat of the same experience. Um, so I'm going to be reading one piece um, about my mother who did pass away. Um, and then the rest I will be reading, as Ali said, I did go to, I just came back from a residency. Um, I was down in SoCal for two months. Um, and while I was there, did a lot of writing, a lot of reading, a lot of smoking weed. And um, <laughs> while I was there, I wrote a lot. So I'm going to be reading some of that stuff. Belly-filled hot Cheetos, I slept in the only ghetto that was Culver City. I searched for things here. My Tweety Bird jelly sandals, a balance slipped on the fifth step from the bottom. My second dog, car strolled and rolled over his back leg by 10. It was my mother. We moved because some things can never be found. And by 10, I'd considered better ways to lose a black mother from old age or maybe even death on impact. My mother could have died on January 8th, 2006, but we couldn't let her die until July 17th, 2013. At 10, I didn't realize I'd asked my mother to stay and suffer for me again. Despite the 10 centimeters dilated, the contractions, the pushing with no epidural, I asked her to stretch herself upon a hospital bed again. This time, not for 20 hours, but for seven years and by 17, I'd considered better ways to end my own mother's life, but there wasn't one just a trembled lip and a conscience. Everyone was silent and as the youngest in the family, I broke it, well, I think we should take her off of life support. It should be noted that I don't remember if this is exactly what I said, but I remember feeling like I regretted it. At 26, sometimes, I choose to lie on my back and I think about my mother and how hers was not a choice, and I regret that too, that the world gave her no choice and I took that from her too. I regret taking my own mother's life, but the point of this poem is that I know she wanted me to. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, so I have a few here. For a person perceived firstly as black, I sure as hell don't know a lot of them. Play Patty, Fantasia, or Donna, and I won't sing along. Don't hand me Luster's Pink unless you expect me only to inhale. And please, please put that deck away. You know I can't play spades. <laughs> Blame my mom for putting me in Girl Scouts, my dad for listening to nothing but NPR, but now my mom's dead and my dad's still in LA, so all fingers point back to me and my Spotify wrapped Grande, Bieber, Harlow. It's almost like I love white people who want to be black. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> white people who can't see anything but black can't question my black can't laugh at my black ass is one thing I do have though be black <laughs> be blacker be blackest be black thank you thank you <laughs> When my white ex asked me if they were the bad guy in my story, I felt the way a foot scrub at the nail salon does. Uh, 
how it's a bath turned lukewarm, a scrape masked as a tickle, how essential oil covers callous gloves, a barrier for worn bone. A plissage wrote my mother into smoke, her body stitched to bloodshed, but despite folk tales and memoirs, I burned my hand reaching for the same bullet, soot marbled ash, just so my white ex could ask me if they were the bad guy in my story and I could face my own genocide. Wow. Thank you. Y'all are such a good... The energy is so wild in here. Like I have done, I did a fair amount of readings in LA and I don't know, just something about this space always feels so good. So thank you, I really appreciate it. I counted my luck under vinyl ceilings. Sage green acrylics caressed by a blunt Our welding happened after 8 p.m. On nights not stone sobered by a genius bar. I regret not bringing my tiger bomb and not concentrating on the permanence of the pre-existing you offered me a bite on a bed of white rice and every time I chose your grandmother's carpet. I have ground these herbs before, left peach with no pit, and after proving I am one hit shy of a crack, why wouldn't you break me? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. New visions distort us. Keish Herman does too. I owe not one apology, but two to my tender head and pubic bone. Invite the burrers that slain me, that wrung out my shadow, plucked my last petal, and when my beached body washes up half dead and unfinished, kill every white bitch that comes back for more. Okay, okay, two more. Thank you. <laughs> um, thank you. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> mm, okay. Holding space for wintered spirits and scotch tongues is getting old. Feached per feet perched cowhide, mouth filled salt. My skin is the accessory in this room and everyone I walk into. Ick laced ice, I'm the one who needs you to be soft, who needs time to untether, who needs no more guilt. Kill me not to frame, but to stain my blood to white countertop, molt me new, tan me mine, and if my makeup is already on your shoulder, what makes you think black women won't come back to haunt you? <laughs> okay, this is my last piece. Living on La Ventana made me realize I am the absence of home. I am the sand you track from shore to doormat the to-dos pushed off until tomorrow. My therapist just shared her screen again to show me the feelings wheel again, but I'm still intellectualizing. Pisces moon aside, I'm still intellectualizing how I think it felt after my third breakup this year. Instead of just saying how it made me somewhat suicidal, she knows I'm dark though, right? Skinned, sided, humored, hold. I'm waiting for the moment the ocean notices me beyond something to swallow. They say dolphins are attracted to magnets and my therapist told me if she sits by a body of water, a fin will appear and I just saw one out back, binoculars clarifying blue and if the pendulum keeps swinging, eventually I know they'll find me alluring too. Thank yes. you. Yes.